I'm Jackie Travers and I renovate properties and today I'm going to show you two of them. This is a beautiful Victorian property that I renovated for a client and another one is a 1970s modern property. So let's look at the first one. So this is a beautiful Victorian property that a client asked me to renovate and when they bought it, it had storage heaters. It looked nothing like this. So I installed central heating which cost about three or four thousand pounds and believe me, it's worth every penny because it puts the value of the house up tenfold. Now my style is shabby chic, so I painted the floors, distressed them and they look stunning and even with people walking in and out it doesn't matter because they naturally distress anyway. I painted the beams off-white and the walls are farrow and ball shaded white. I love farrow and ball paint because it gives that wonderful chalky effect. So I bought most of the furniture and I wanted to create again that lovely shabby chic style. It's so crisp and so fresh and it never ever dates. So let's go and have a look at the rest of the house. And now in the kitchen area, the cupboards were yellow. So what I did was I painted them another beautiful farrow and ball colour and again gives that lovely chalky effect and very, very shabby chic. The floorboards have continued throughout this lovely distressed look and upstairs there was a big tank. So we took that out and now in here we've got a combi boiler. So that's the kitchen, let's go upstairs. So this is the master bedroom and I had such fun creating things in this room. Of course I kept the same colour on the walls which is shaded white throughout the house. Now this is a chimney breast and what I did was I extended this to accommodate the bed because it's a king size bed and there were two alcoves so what we did was we created some cupboard space here and we painted the cupboards in the same colour as the walls and what I did was shabby chic the floors again so they're lovely distressed floors and I bought a beautiful rug to blend in with these fabulous chalky colours. So this was one bathroom and I've created two bathrooms because the bathroom was quite big. I've gone quite traditional in this one with the stone floor which works very well on the walls as well and I've gone traditional with the mirror, the sink and the toilet. Where there's the other bathroom I've gone fairly modern and I've got a traditional mirror in there so you can mix and match. Now this was a wall here and the corridor was very long so what I did was shorten the corridor, knocked through and now this is an ensuite bathroom to the master bedroom which makes it perfect. So this is another property I've renovated in the beautiful town of Trin. Now this is in a conservation area, so there's some stunning Victorian houses around and there are a couple of modern properties behind me and this is the one I've renovated. So come and see what I've done. And here we are in the kitchen. So I've gutted this whole house, put a brand new kitchen in and this is very reasonably priced. You don't have to spend a fortune. We've got lovely self-closing drawers here and I've put an engineered floor down which runs straight into the hall which flows so well. Sometimes I put a stone floor depending on the period of the property and the client's budget. One thing I do make sure is that we have plenty of down lights because there's nothing worse for a woman when she's cooking to not have enough lights. So behind this wall is a garage. Now if you don't use a garage another option is to knock through and make a utility area or you could knock the whole wall down and create a beautiful kitchen diner which is always an option. Now this is a lovely spacious sitting room. There was a big arch down here which I've opened up and squared up. I also replaced the 1970s metal doors with lovely French doors overlooking the garden. Well it's a winter garden at the moment but in the spring and summer it's lovely. And I chose a neutral carpet which I always do and neutral colour on the walls and the walls are natural hessian. If you choose neutral colours you can never go wrong. So this is the master bedroom. It was slightly bigger than this but I decided to create an ensuite shower room because there's only one bathroom here. It's a three bedroom house and I think when you've got guests that's just not good enough. So this is fitted in beautifully. Neutral colours throughout flowing through the house as well. So now you've seen the renovation of a modern property and a character property. See you at the next one.